Hey everyone, I'm Khakis and Tape, and today I wanted to teach you how to get upwards of 200,000 weapon XP in just 15 minutes. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe below. Also, make sure to come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash khakis and tape. And without further ado, let's get into it. As many of you know, when you start climbing into the higher ranks of Genshin, you start to need way more weapon XP to continuously level up your weapons to the highest level possible. So today, I wanted to go over the best way to farm weapon XP. Unlike character XP, which is somewhat limited in Genshin, weapon XP can easily be farmed and crafted using the blacksmith. If you didn't already know, when you talk to the blacksmith, you can create one mystic enchantment ore for every four crystal ore chunks. What this means is that you are getting 10,000 weapon XP per four crystal chunks. Now, the only thing left to do is to get as many crystal chunks as we can in a short amount of time. You could use the interactive map to find every single crystal chunk spawn in the game and spend hours trying to collect it all, but instead, I'm going to show you some of the best crystal chunk spawns that are all close by to teleporters so that you can collect 85 to 90 ore in about 15 minutes. Okay, so our first stop on the ore farming route is up by Stormbearer's Point in Mondstadt. You go to the teleporter, turn around, and then jump off the cliff, and the first ore deposit is just to your left below you. This ore deposit also has some good white iron chunks, so if you're interested in farming those as well for weapon crafting, this would be a good spot for you. Next is this mining spot just to the right of Stormbearer Mountain Waypoint. Right as you spawn in, just run straight ahead and you'll see the crystal grouped together on the rock. For the next location, instead of going to a waypoint, we instead go to the Valley of Remembrance Domain. After you spawn in, climb up the face of the domain and head to your left and you'll eventually come to a hole in the ground that leads to a cave. This cave has tons of crystal. The next three mining spots can be done by going to either the Statue of the Seven at Don Winery or the Waypoint at Wolven Dome. In this case, I went to the Statue of the Seven. Once you spawn, turn around and run towards the marker. Jump off the cliff and collide over the chasm and you'll see the ore just past the shrine. After you clear this, you can move north towards the next marker until you eventually drop down right on top of this huge ore deposit. Then you can keep walking north into the forest and find two crystal spawns on an elevated grassy platform. And the last ore location of this group can be found on the right side of the path that goes up towards the wolf boss.
For the next teleporter, I like to turn right, right when I spawn, and grab the crystals behind the teleporter first. Then I head back the way I came, past the teleporter, and following the path to the right to the next deposit. I will say, during this clear, there were way less crystals compared to normal, so you may find yourself getting even more crystals than what you see here. For the next location, I'll spawn in, then run off the cliff, and you'll see the ore directly below you. And then the final locations in Mondstadt are in Storm Terror's Lair. These locations usually only give a few crystal, but because they're so close to the teleporter, I will usually still come and grab them. There are definitely other places in Storm Terror's Lair to get some more crystal. I just find that they take a little bit too much time to gather, but if you have the extra time, I would definitely suggest looking into it. Alright, in the next area, you want to teleport here, just below the little oasis. Run to the bridge and then climb up next to the waterfall. Once you get to the top, there will be some ore directly in front of you. You can then find even more ore by going to the back of the oasis as well. For this next location, we want to go to the cave underneath the mountain. So once you get to the spawner, just jump off the side of the mountain and glide all the way down. Next, you teleport to the next mountain, same thing, you jump off the side and glide down. You'd usually be able to find some ore spawning on this rock, unfortunately when I did this run, they had not respawned. Next, you go to Lua Pool, jump off the cliff, again and glide all the way across towards the grassy area to the left of the tree. In a little corner on this platform, you'll find even more crystal. This next location is yet another hidden cave. Once you get to the teleporter, jump off, glide all the way down. And under all the ruins, you'll find the cave.
Next, once you spawn, turn around and you will find two big groups of crystal between the two mountains. Now for this one, jump off the cliff and glide around to the left side of this rock. When you drop down by the waterfall, you will then find another cave full of ore. And now for another cave. Spawn, then jump off the cliff to the left and fall to where the water meets the mountainside. You will find a cave with some ore as well as a shrine underneath. And then for our last location, jump off the mountain to the left and glide down the river until you see the ore just to the left of the river. Hey guys, I actually wanted to add in that I did forget to mention these three ore spots over on the islands over here. These three are very big. They have tons of ore in this location. Uh, I'm not going to show them because they all are very straightforward. If you simply mark them on your map where these are, you should be able to find them no problem at all. And there you have it. After completing that ore farming route, I was able to collect 92 crystal ore chunks. Now, going back to the blacksmith, I'm able to create 23 mystic enhancement ores. And with each Mystic Enhancement Ore being worth 10,000 XP, that comes to a total of 230,000 Weapon XP in just 15 minutes. If I missed any of your favorite farming spots, let me know down in the comments. Also, make sure to come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash khakisandtape. I hope this video was helpful, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe below.